I want to talk briefly about AIDS denialists. These are people who believe that AIDS doesn't exist or that HIV doesn't cause AIDS. I first became aware of AIDS denialism when I saw the documentary House of Numbers, which interviews many prominent AIDS denialists. For an amazing debunking, check out the series by Miles Power. I'll put a link in the description. I've heard various narratives in the AIDS denialist movement, but it most commonly goes something like this. The government, or Big Pharma, or someone wants to rid the world of African Americans and homosexuals, so they diagnose these people with a disease that doesn't really exist so they can be given drugs that will make them sick and die. So AIDS denialists encourage people not to take medication and continue on with their lives as normal. Here's the problem with that advice. It kills people. I wouldn't be so worried if AIDS denialists were a fringe extremist group, but they're not, and they actually have power. One example of this occurred in South Africa during the presidency of Thabo Mbeki. In 2000, Mbeki assembled a presidential advisory panel on HIV AIDS, which included several AIDS denialists, such as Dr. Peter Duisburg. As a member of the National Academy of Sciences, Duisburg in 1987 used his right to bypass the peer review process and published a paper questioning the link between HIV and AIDS. Anyway, Duisburg and the other denialists on the panel convinced Mbeki to adopt an AIDS denialist policy, and he thus began denying antiretroviral drugs to AIDS patients, calling the drugs poison, and instead, along with the country's health minister, promoted unproven natural supplements instead. These policies have been blamed for over 300,000 preventable deaths. This video only touched on a much larger issue. So, like I said before, you can check out Miles Powers' series debunking the AIDS denialist movie House of Numbers if you want a more thorough debunking. And if you're feeling charitable this year, I recommend donating to the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative. I've personally donated $108 this month and $158 this year. If you donate, please let me know so I can keep a running total. Let's bring an end to this horrible disease.